What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sub News, baby. Today, we've got 32 PC mods in testing. We've got four console mods in testing. Giants have a new blog. North Mon and Company have an autonomous Harwarder. A Dub's got even more fact sheets from the old Massey pack. Vertex Design have a new tanker. Oxygen David updates us on his new Ferguson tractor. Plus, Sid Modding's back with the John Deere 2020 pack. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have RDCFS 19, 110 Crumbler, Agricultural Rollers, Agrisim Agrimulch 6M, and a Burger HTS 2012, Bucks County PA, K Skid Steer Pack, Dynamic Potato Hall, Fent 4S, Fent Farmer 300, Kamaz 65 117, Kirshner 4060, Leveler Supima, Little Walls, Lizard ADT 12, Lizard Front Flex Roll 3M, Lizard Utility Trailer, Lubelska Delina, Macintosh 6-Tone Multi-Purpose Trailer, Mezzo Pell Trailer, New Holland TX Series Pack, Pallets High Shelf Storage, Poly 185TL, Ponger Euroballs 370H, Real Poland Map 2x2, Seizes Geo Hawaii, Solar Fields Large and Small, Techno SEMA BA200SP, Tiger Mate 200, Tractor Decoration, Ursus 355 Pack, and the Vicon MH90S Twin. In testing for console, we have the Bergman TSW4190, Pallets, Polish Plows Pack, and Seed and Fertilizers Mini Silos. With all that being said, we still have 143 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 5 workdays. Today's 17 new and updated mods were released on the in-game mod hub. New for all platforms, we have Pure Big Valley Farm, Toys Far Starliner, Lizard D633, Buildings with Pigs, Cow Shed, and the OBE Leveler. Updates for all platforms include the Lizard BSX250, Lizard SXHV30, Polish Plows Pack, Three Point Drawbar Hitch, Bunker Silo, and Liquid Silo. New for console only today, we have the Cokerling Vector 46620 and the Lizard BT GME. And lastly, updates for PC and Mac players today include Proceed, ZDT PU12, and the ZDT PU7. I've already made a video showing these off in detail, which you can find linked below. Today, Giants released their next blog post talking to Cavernland Group Part 1. Not only do they have a new blog, but they also released a video to go along with it, which is super awesome. Learn more about the Cavernland Group, the new Cavernland Vicon Equipment Pack DLC, and agricultural awareness with the Cavernland Group representative. This is really cool. I will have that blog and video link below. North Mon and Company show off their newest project, which is a robotic forestry machine, an autonomous harwarder, a harvester and forwarder in one. The name is quite interesting, and I can't say it on video, but... If you want to check it out for yourself, North Money Company is linked in the description. They do say that it will be coming to all platforms with no release date known as of yet. T-Bone, thanks for chatting with me this morning, man. With the anticipation of the old generation Massey Ferguson pack drawing closer, A-Dub Modding gives us another set of fact sheets today. First, we get the Massey Ferguson 885 Cutter Mower. This is going to cost you $25,000 as they're working with the 5 meters at 20 kilometers per hour or around 12 miles per hour and works with the Massey 886 self-propelled mower. Speaking of, we get to see that Massey 886 mower. This is going to cost you $15,800, so less than the header itself. Has 80 horsepower, goes 20 kilometers, around 12 miles per hour, and works best with, again, the previously mentioned 885 cutter. Thirdly, we have the Massey Ferguson MF27 Combine. This is going to cost you $55,000 has a 276 horsepower engine, which is about as much as a stock Nissan Skyline R34, but at a fraction of the cost. It was gonna hold 8,600 liters and goes 10 kilometers per hour or around six miles per hour and works best with the Massey Ferguson MF27 cutter head. And lastly, we get to see the Massey 2,500 kilogram weight. It's gonna cost you 1,100 bucks, can be found in weights and will work with anything with a three point hitch. My understanding is A-Dub is done with the old gen Massey pack and is making final adjustments air fixing, lighting, and tightening up the mod before sending it off for the first round of testing. Along with A-Dub himself and Ben M Mods are working on some great projects together, including Thornbrook together. A-Dub also mentions that the map Westby, Wisconsin is on hold currently, which was originally by Aaron Smith and the Sempo Rasenlu Combine that we talked about yesterday. A-Dub updates his work almost daily, so if you want to check him out on Facebook, I highly encourage it. Vertex Design show off their new mods, the Skoma Tank Semi-Trailer TSA with matching dolly. The trailer has large tires, but can be customized to be even larger and has a large capacity of 26,000 liters, two suction hoppers, and a suction on the side as well, plus a filling arm on the barrel. They go on to say that it rides well on the road, unlike some other tanks in game, because of the deep center of gravity. There's no release date on this mod yet, but 
Coming from Vertex Design, you know this is going to be good. There's also no platform information available yet either. Oxygen David shows off more progress on his high poly count Ferguson TE20 tractor. Oxy is known for making amazing maps with enormous detail, but with the release of the McConnell Reach mower, also Lizard for console, he seems to be trying some new things with in-game mods. Oxy, you are killing it, dude. And lastly today, Sid Modding is back. He says the Giants contacted him and asked that all of his mods be in one pack together meaning that we will be seeing the John Deere 2027R, 8R, 8RT, and 8RX all coming together in one pack. He says he still needs to finish the 7R, and then he'll be going off to Giants for testing. This mod pack, once tested and passed, will be for all platforms, so PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and Mac players will all be able to enjoy this awesome work that Sid has put together for us. Thank you. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all the topics discussed today can be found in the description below. Don't forget, there's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows anything about when mods are going to be released. If I didn't talk about something that you're interested in, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join to go ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Even did a vlog this morning. Make sure you guys check that out. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! If you were a movie villain, who would you be? I would be Maraca Hands and I would beat people up with Maracas.